All right, I've been kind of all day, and I'll get the night. Well, excuse my language. I've been kind of effing off all day today, trying to curb my language a little bit. So I uh, went out and I uh, got some riding in. It's a beautiful day. It's almost like a summer day today. The weather's crazy. So I got some riding in, and I, I got a new camera. I've had it for a little while now, but I haven't had an opportunity to really use it. It's really small. The sound isn't great when I'm riding down the road with it. It's muffled because it fits into like a waterproof case so you could take it underwater. And I put it in that to put it on the motorcycle because it's wet out there right now. There's still, um, well, it's pretty much melted off now, but there was a little bit of snow left in places and spots and it's totally melted off. So I'm, it's throwing dirt up over my bike and shit. I didn't want it all over the camera. So I got the camera inside the little thing. <laughs> So I got some riding in, and then I came in here, I sat down to upload that, uh, you know, video, look at it, and I decided to play guitar, because I haven't played guitar in so long, and Val's at yoga, so I'm not going to be torturing her with my horrendous guitar playing, because I'm so rusty that I need, like, some penetrating oil or something squirted on me just to be able to get these hands going. Plus, I can only play for so long, and then, well, I've played a long time tonight, but they start to get... My forearm gets all pumped up and shit, and then I have problems. And the other problem is, all of my guitars, God only knows what the ones upstairs that haven't been out of their case, that are in the, in the closet up there since we moved in this house. And I got an awesome guitar up there that I love, uh, a hammer actually. But Lord knows what kind of condition that one's in. They all need strings. Um, the only one that's got new strings on it is my six string acoustic. My 12 strings got old strings. 
But the electrics, I decided to play electric, and the electrics are all dead. Those strings are all bad. And not only that, but you want to hear something really screwed up, I'll show it to you. This is a trip here. Watch this shit. This guitar now needs some fret work. And here's the screwed up thing. When it was sitting, when it was last placed on this stand, it didn't need fret work. Now it does. Let me show you. I have, I'm going to have to put these glasses on. I can't see what the fuck I'm going. There's reading glasses, cheaters. Pardon me a minute while I try to adjust this thing. This is actually Valerie's guitar. So, I was kind of striking out with my guitars. Ones that are down here. So I figured, let me try Val's. Because it might be that her uh, guitar, since it's like the one with the freshest, freshest, you know, relatively strings on it. So let me try that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I already unplugged all this crap. And I, and I didn't really sit down to play for long, so with that intention. So I didn't, I have some awesome amps in here. I got a badass 80s uh, Marshall head over there. That is a solid state, but it's the MOSFET head. The one with the plate reverb, it's actually got a plate reverb that's uh, suspended on springs inside of it. And that head sounds the closest, in my opinion, to, um, to a tube Marshall head, to any of the classic tube heads. That amp is, uh, was very popular in the 80s for a hair metal kind of, uh, that type of music. A lot of people were hauling these Moffats around they could, that they could find them. If you can find them, they're relatively inexpensive, at least they have been that I, that I know of the last time that I found one. But um, they're hard to find. They are bulletproof. I mean, you can, they, they really, they can go through anything. And uh, this was my backup head, but it's, it's got its own sound. It sounds the most like a tube Marshall head, and it's got plenty of power. It's 100 watt, uh, solid state. But, um, you know, you can Google and read it. It's not just my opinion. It's many, many, many guitar players' opinions that, this head most closely, if you're going to go with the uh, reliability of solid state out on the road, you know, bars or whatever have you, that this head is, um, you know, the closest you're going to get tone-wise and sound-wise to uh, a tube head. And of course, it's not going to, no head's going to respond, no solid state head's going to respond like a tube head, like with texture and things, but tone-wise, no, it sounds awesome. It's got a great sound to it. I love it. I'll never part with it. Uh, I don't really play it that much. Usually I play my uh, Laney. I got a Laney tube head over here. This thing's a monster over here in this corner. I got a Laney tube head over there. That, that's, a, that's a monster. It's a beast. It's 50 watt, but it's, it's, it's tube, and it is a monster. It's, it's beautiful. It's got so much awesome sound to it. I don't know off the top of my head right now what tubes are in there. Uh, I changed out a couple of them. I don't even remember what I put in it. It was so long ago, but the thing sounds incredible. And then these two Marshall cabinets are both different. Um, I have a, uh, an older cabinet, an older lead cabinet that has uh, uh, greenback speakers in it. And then I have the other cabinet has um, oh, uh, Eminence. I don't know. It has a different set of speakers in it. You know, it's for a different type of sound, different kind of texture. Anyhow, I just plugged into this little Marshall practice amp because I didn't feel like dragging all that stuff out. You know, and it, it's a practice amp, I'll give it that, but it, it really, it sounds okay, but it's not, it's not, you know, it is what it is. But I didn't even feel like dragging out any pedals or anything. I was getting ready to plug a wah in, and then I didn't even feel like, you know, uh, dragging out the power cord for it or digging through all my shit to get it. And I didn't have a 9-volt battery handy, and I don't leave batteries in them if I can help it. So I decided just to plug straight into this little lamp here. And... Like I said, it doesn't have the greatest sound to it. It's um, it's a practice amp, but this is what it is. You know, it's just for convenience. Just, just sitting down here and plugging in real quick and plug your guitar up. So first, I plugged in my uh, SG and my Gibson. Um, now this Gibson has one of these uh, powered, one of these powered pickups in the lead position, in the bridge position. I didn't put that bullshit on there. I don't even like it on there. Um, the uh, the standard Gibson pickups that came on it, I think have a better sound, like a, a much prettier sound and a richer sound. So, you know, now on, on this Les Paul, I have the EM, uh, EMGs on there, but I have the HZs, they're the passive EMGs, just because I didn't feel like doing all this routing and cutting to be able to get batteries in it. So I put them in there. In my day and time, I changed out pickups and all this shit a lot and capacitors and stuff to 
you know, try and find what I was looking for. Um, and Val's Ibanez uh, should be a real shredder. That's what she likes. The neck is a little bit different. But one thing I do like about it is it's not really like, it's not as thin a neck for me as a Strat. I got a Strat over there. That was my daughter's guitar back in the day. Uh, so I'll never part with that because I'll keep it for her. It's a beautiful guitar, uh, purple Strat. But um, it's uncomfortable for me to play because it's, it's smaller, you know, smaller hands are, you know, I'm sure there are people with big hands that can play the shit out of it, but I'm not one of those guys. Anyway, I plugged in my... SG and the strings are so dead on it it doesn't do it justice any way shape or form because the rhythm pickup has a beautiful sound to it but it's a Gibson pickup I don't remember what number it was I used to be on top of all this it's been a long time so I paid any mind to it let me try um, my Les Paul which is an Epiphone but it's an early Epiphone it's 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 the same year my daughter's birth and that's why I've kept it all this time because um it's back when they still had the Gibson, um, the cover up at the top of the nut on the headstock, still said Gibson on them. The ones that said Gibson on them still. I, I think this guitar is manufactured in Korea. And these guitars weighed like, this guitar weighs like nine pounds or better, about around nine pounds. It's a pretty thick, heavy guitar. It's got incredible sustain, as you would expect a big piece of wood like that to have. Um, I'll plug it in, what the hell. I ain't got nothing to lose but my dignity. Embarrassingly enough, you can see from all the dust on this fella uh, that it ain't been played in a long time. Let me brighten this up a little bit. Yeah, you can see all the dust. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really a dusty beast. Really dusty. Yeah, it's probably battery dead. Stranger bed. Another thing, I got this switch backwards. Just it's just twisted upside down. He's replaced anyway. Joker's way out of tune, so I mean, I, I, I had tuned it a little while ago, it ain't gonna stay in tune. Just, strings are so dead. This is a Val's guitar, Sobbing is. Strings are horrible. Need some fret work. Check this shit out. Watch this. Right there. That fret is somehow, I don't know what the hell happened. It just sat here and got like that. Wasn't like that one was parked last. with this bad boy. <clears throat>
I don't think I'm going to play the Strat. I know that Strat ain't going to sound worth a shit because that's a bitch. I'm going to play the acoustic. Come on. This thing is a battery eater. i got to tell you that right now. Is that on? Upper. Kills batteries, man. Tell you what, Val got me one of these tone woods, these tone wood amps, if you've ever seen them or heard of them. They're awesome. They sound, they're incredible. And I would play it for you and show you how incredible they are if I were able, but the battery's dead already. It's been sitting here turned off, not for that long, because I do play this guitar the most. Um, you know, it is what it is. The thing eats batteries. It eats batteries. If I leave the batteries in this, just sitting there parked on the stand, it eats the battery. It will eat the battery up. Things eat batteries, man. Eat them. Eats batteries. Oh. This guitar needs a setup, needs a little love too, but. Anyway, that's all I've been doing today. Um, breaking in my new calluses again, getting them back in shape, and just playing around. I love acoustic guitars, if you can't tell. You know, those electric days, you see how many electric guitars I have, and there's more upstairs. My Hamer's like that. He's my Tone Master. It's had so many pickups in it and, and, and switches and, and in and out of phase you know, push-pull knobs on it and all kinds of crap, splitters, you know, that, uh, yeah, but, but now I'm more, this is me. I need to really play a lot more guitar because I have a lot of things to express and, uh, unlike in my wayward youth, this is the way to do it. So kids, this is an option. Weights are another option. You know, the gym is an option. The fitness lifestyle, well, I hate to say that, but the old school bodybuilding lifestyle, about brotherhood, um, about health, and just about doing your thing anyway. Who, who cares? If it's not somebody else's thing and they don't like it, then that's just fine. They don't have to like it. I'm not out here trying to sell people my way of life. You know, motorcycling. You know, all these things have a common theme. A common thread runs through all these things in my world, and it's um, stress reduction and freedom. 
and freedom. And you guys, I know I got a lot of guys out there playing guitar watching this channel. And, you know, when you really you get your time to yourself and you're just in your own head and you pick up a guitar and you just start fiddling around, diddling around, man, noodling, it's, um, it's really cathartic. It's wonderful, man. Time just flies by. It's just awesome. It's good for the soul. Kind of just like sitting on the couch, you know, in a nice warm house. Maybe you got some good music on, something kind of mellow but good. And uh, just petting a dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just so relaxing. And sometimes a good motorcycle ride does it. And especially the initial rides when the weather starts to get better. You, know, you can get out and do what you want to do a little bit more. Anyway, that's it. Whatever it is, uh, you know, if it's fitness, if it's exercise, if it's lifting weights, whatever your trip is, man, do your thing. Don't, it doesn't matter if anybody else sings along or not. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if it's good for you, and you know if it's good for you, if it's good for your soul, it's good for your spirit, then, uh, then it's good. So you don't have to justify it. Just do your own thing, man. Go your own way.